Hey everybody, this is Mike with On Point Preparedness. I am shocked once again to see something that is coming out in this world, and uh, I think you're going to be shocked as well. Unfortunately, I woke up at 3 o'clock this morning just due to our baby, and so I checked a couple of my Facebook messages, and I had three separate messages concerning the same topic. The fact that after I had published this video about Pope, the most powerful man in history, it's a CNN series that started to air on March 11th. It glorifies the image of the Pope and furthers his publicity. Less than 24 hours after this series started to air, you now have Pope Francis starring in his own full featured film that will be in theaters, I guess nationwide, maybe even worldwide come May 18th of this year. So check this out. Here is a trailer, and it is from Focus Features Films, published on March 13th, 2018. So again, under 24 hours, this trailer has been posted, and it already has 462,000 views. And you can see how much people eat up this Pope and how much positive publicity he has. This is more of the same where they are talking about no matter what divides us, his words unite us. Not the word, not the gospel, his words, the words of a man. And if you've followed my channel and others like mine, you know that this Pope is increasingly being put on a pedestal for the world. My thoughts about it, as I mentioned in this video here, is that we are getting precipitously close to some type of end times events when this when this thing really gets started it is almost palpable you can taste it and this man is being set in a position where the world will be in a lot of chaos and disorder it is the ordo ab chao that the elite love to glorify and when this disorder and chaos comes and the antichrist comes onto the scene and he does mysterious works and wonders the world is going to be seeking for a religious and moral authority to help explain these things. And this man is serving sort of like as a John the Baptist for the Antichrist, an anti-John the Baptist, paving the way for this figure. And as I mentioned in my interviews with Lee and Joni, or when I went on with Tony at A Minute to Midnight and other channels, you know, we feel this in our spirit. We feel like something is very, very close. But we also have to make sure that we don't rely on our own imaginations and we don't rely on our feelings. We have to be sober-minded about this. And I do believe looking at things that are happening in the world uh, confirms what is resonating in our spirit, that something is so close. Because you've cut the Pope coming to the forefront again with this CNN series and then 24 hours later, his own full featured film, where they glorify him as the most humble pope, the moral authority for uniting a divided world, the moral authority for families, the moral authority, not just within Catholicism, but also Christianity as a whole. In Islam, you have several imams calling him um, a very moral person, and they look to him for guidance. Um He's just all over the place, and this this movie is really speaking to that. But he is this false prophet. He is not Christ-like. Uh, he is just an imposter. And so the timing of this also is very peculiar. Again, May 18th, keep in mind that there's a lot of things going on in May. So this supposed meeting between Trump and North Korean's Kim Jong-un is supposed to be by May. I honestly don't think that uh, Kim Jong-un is looking to have any type of denuclearization of his country. I think that he's honestly just buying time because he's probably close to completing some nuclear arsenal. Uh, you also have the fact that the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem is scheduled to open in May, just in time for Israel's 70th anniversary big date here in 2018. And so, as I just mentioned, I, I'm, I hate to be redundant, but just look at the signs. Be sober-minded, and you can see how close this is. That this pope, who is very likely the last pope 
and he's very old in age, so he, he can't be lasting too much longer. Um, he's got all this publicity, not from just the CNN series that's just been started, not just from this movie that's going to air, but back in 2015, I showed a video of how he has his own rock album, Wake Up. It's trying to entertain the youth. You know, they are targeting the youth because the youth uh, is not as sober-minded as uh, some of the elders are and what's going on in the world, and so they are trying to exploit the youth. You also have him as Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Again, this is this is the guy. This is going to be our liaison to the Antichrist. I tr I truly believe that. And so I mentioned again in in my last video too, who is the Antichrist? I do not believe this to be a simple man. Many people believed it to be Obama. Many people believe it to be Trump. Many people believe it to be the Pope himself. But I don't believe that. You know. This Antichrist figure is going to mimic signs and wonders. Um, he's not going to be just a man. He's, he's going to have, um, he's going to try to mimic Christ. And so one of the theories, and again, it is just a theory concerning this alien deception, something that I've shown on my channel, uh, multiple times. I have this, this video here, uh, what I did with, uh, creation.com talking about the movie Alien Intrusion, the great deception of the end times, there is a ton of proof that these aliens are not from other worlds, that they are in fact demons from a different dimension posing as aliens. And that theory would be absolutely insane. I think the first time I talked about it was maybe a year ago, and I felt foolish talking about that on my YouTube channel. But you cannot deny it now with... A lot of the headlines that are coming out. I mentioned in my last video yesterday of how there was more Pentagon footage that the DOD, I guess, released or, or was somehow leaked where Navy pilots are discussing a UFO. The fact that there is some object that they're tracking that is going way faster than any other uh, aircraft that they are aware of, trained observers, people that we uh, trust to protect our country and fly planes with heavy munitions over U.S. cities. We trust them with that, but yet uh, a lot of people don't trust them when when they see this video and, and show them documenting UFOs. There is this video here from the Liberty Hound, and Tucker from Fox News actually had this individual, you know, on the show, and they're actively talking about this, saying that we really need to consider the fact that UFOs do exist. The New York Times or the New York Post, sorry, was the first uh, worldwide news agency that actually released the second footage of uh, military members in the U.S. documenting UFOs. There was another image uh, beforehand, and I think that was shown in this video somewhere here. Yeah, here was the second footage that they captured. And this object has no uh, heat signature. And it's not ionizing the atmosphere around it, but yet it's traveling at hypersonic speeds. And you can hear the audio from these pilots saying that they don't understand what the heck this is. And they're actually um, trying to determine if they need to shoot this down, if it's a security risk. And so you've, you've got folks like Hillary Clinton and Bill Clinton talking about UFOs. You have things like the, the, uh, the Pizzagate scandal. And how some of those secretive emails were talking about uh, disclosure events. You have the Pope even. I don't have all the articles pulled up here, but you can certainly look this up. The Pope and at their Lucifer telescope, their director of that program talks about baptizing Brother Martian and, and talks about trying to find life on other planets and, and trying to spread the gospel to them. Again, it would be absolutely preposterous to talk about this theory of aliens being demonic deceivers unless or, or or unless you had all these resources you know highly educated people highly educated pilots public figures presidents uh even some of the apollo astronauts started coming out and talking about how uh, they had witnessed some ufo activity and the list goes on and on and on uh, really high profile people talking 
about UFOs and bringing it to the surface. And if you check out secular channels like Secure Team 10, which covers nothing but UFOs, uh, and, and these people are looking at it from a worldly perspective, not from an end times perspective, they're saying that something is going on. They really believe that disclosure is sometime soon. And so we feel it in our spirit and, and we see things with spiritual eyes. But we also have our worldly eyes and, and we can see what the world is doing. They're all talking about this and they're all talking about something big is going to happen, but they don't quite understand what it is that's about to come onto the scene. Now, the other thing that I want to touch on, in case you haven't seen this video of mine, I talk about how this pope is likely the last pope. There is the whole prophecy of Petrus Romanus. I sort of cover that in this video. I don't cover the, the prophecy of Petrus Romanus, but I do believe, I, I highly believe, that this prophecy in Revelation 17 concerning the seven kings um, actually is in regards to the popes. So I will put uh, right over here in the right-hand corner of the screen, I'll put a card that you can click on in case you haven't seen this video from me. But Revelation 17 talks about seven kings, and John says that five are fallen and one is. In 1929, Mussolini made a treaty with the Vatican, which recreated the Vatican state or country where the Vatican is a priest kingdom and the Pope is king. So if you actually trace this and you look at the five kings that were dead at the time of John's vision and you look at 1929, there's the first king, second king, third king, fourth king, and fifth king. And the one that is, is the one that is currently presiding in the papacy when John is in this vision, and that is John Paul II, the sixth king. And here is the really critical part. It says the seventh one has not yet come at the in John's vision, but when he does come, he will serve a short time or space. And that was Benedict, the seventh king. And we all know that Pope Benedict had this shock res resignation he was the first pope to resign in over 600 years. And not only that, he talks about how it was a mystical experience where God told him to resign from the papacy. And then you had the two lightning bolts strike the Vatican right after Benedict's re resignation. And so, <laughs> could this be something else? You know, remember, a lot of prophecy... And our interpretations of it is all secondary doctrine. Um, it could pan out another way. But the alignment here with the seventh king serving a short space and everything that I've just showed you. Um, and the fact that the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth. And we're talking about Pope Francis potentially being the last pope. And we're seeing all these events where they're glorifying him publicly on CNN or in the movies or in rock albums or in Time Magazine, you are living in the end times. Make no mistake about it. You need to get right with God. You need to put on the full armor of God. You need to know what that means. It means to you know, get in the word, try to renew yourself in faith and submission to him. I pray that you can persevere and endure through these times because it's coming. I, 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 I'm not really shocked that much anymore about these things, but this is shocking to me to, to see, and we knew this, to see how quickly events are piling up right on top of one another, one after the other after the other. We talk about the 24 hour news cycle uh, just going so quickly that Things like the Las Vegas shooting are now ancient history. We've forgotten about it. And same thing goes with prophecy. This is going at such an exponential pace that we can't even possibly you know, fathom everything that's going on right now. And so it's soon. And so I pray that uh, you, know, you don't get too wrapped up in the world. For those of you that truly believe that we are in the end times and you're trying to renew yourself in your faith, um, these things serve as confirmation. But if it's already been confirmed, then what do you do? You know, this is 
the end of the world. This is Armageddon. And we have very short time to be the salt and light of the earth, to try to win souls to Christ. That is what we should be doing. It should be strengthening ourselves in our faith so that through the grace and power of God, we can, we can do his works and, and try to get people out of this world because time is short. It is so incredibly short. Not even to mention the end times, but at any day your life can be taken from you. So I'm going to stop ranting, but um, this is amazing to me. This is absolutely amazing to me, and it should be to you as well, just with how quickly things are happening. And it's March, and a lot of these things are due by May. Uh, we are not to be dogmatic about any particular date, but with the dates that I've been looking at, uh, there's just a heck of a lot of coincidences for 2018. This is Mike with On Point Preparedness. God bless everybody.